Good morning, Christian friends. This is the Plumb Line. I'm Jesse Hood. And today's scripture is Psalms 8 and 2. From the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. Let us pray. Father, we come to you this day, Father. We come to you, Father, in times of turmoil, strife, times of, of the enemy, Father, who have unleashed his, his army of imps and trolls, scavengers and rascals of this earth. He has unleashed them on our children. And Father, now we know that you are the one, Father, who can straighten out and bring this old enemy, Satan, to his knees. We know, Father, that, that your army of the Union Band, your army, the Christian army can put the enemy uh, and make slaughter of him, Father. Because, Father, right now we, we need you, Father, to come in in the mix of how our young children are being exploited, extorted, even deported. Father, we know that, that you are all sovereign God, creator of heaven and earth, and you rule and super rule heaven and earth. We know that you can, can work miracles, Father. We know that you are a miracle worker. So, Father, we asking in your Son's name, Jesus Christ, to come forth, Father, to come forth right now in the name of Jesus and stop all all of this terrible sin, Father. Something we don't like to even talk about, Father. But you're the only one that could come in and seal it up and throw it in the lake of fire. I'm pleading to you, Father. something that you don't want us to do. You said if we just ask in your name, it shall be given. You told us to seek a thing, and it shall be found. Knock, and the door shall be open, Father. Right now, we're seeking, we're asking and knocking in your name. And I know you've already heard this prayer, Father. You said the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Tell the sin to the elders so they can pray for each other and heal the land. So Father, right now this is a time of 
universal prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus. And let this prayer go all over Radio Land. Every frequency, every iota of wavelength that this Christian band has in prayer. Let it surf all over, Father, in the name of Jesus, for universal prayer to stop how our children and our infants are being exploited. Hear the plum, hear the plumb lines prayer, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So Christian friends, in the name of Jesus, we come into you right now as corporate individuals. We're asking for prayer in this praying time because our children are our future. We as parents have to raise them up and teach them well. So we can be safe, our children. Our children can be safe. Our children can have a future. Our children can grow up to be prosperous because God says that's his plan for us, our children, to be prosperous and be safe. But right now in this world, we have so many, the enemy has gotten its army full of new recruits and, and, and they're getting stronger imp by imp. They're getting stronger and they're preying on our innocent children. They're finding a way to exploit and extort and even deport our children. We have to be mindful. We have to get our charisma, our karma, our love for our children. We have to come together and be a stronger guidance. We have to be a stronger blessing for God bestowed upon us to counsel and guide our children. We have to train up our children in a way that they should go and they will never depart from their instruction to put on the armor of warfare. We have to gird up our children and teach them about predators and tricks of the enemy who will prey on our youth, our purity, of our children to make 
our world handicapped and crippled. It's all in the schools, systems that flourishes out into the community. You got predators that are preying on our children. That's P-R-E-Y. We as saints of God have to P-R-A-Y that we can stop all of this trafficking that's going on in and with our youth. We have to put away the strong man. We have to come together in this Christian army, in this union band, and stamp out and stomp out and rub out and obliterate, disintegrate, annihilate, and dissipate the strong.